Hey everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a gun. Uh, we'll be covering stuff like uh, shooting bullets and uh, critical hits. So headshots will do more damage and uh, damaging NPCs and other players. Also, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files without having to follow the tutorial, including the one you're watching right now, they will all be available on my Patreon in the $10 tier. Okay, so the first thing we need is a gun a mesh. So what I'm going to do is go to the toolbox, meshes, and I'm just going to look for a gun. Uh, I'm just going to use this one because I think it looks pretty good. And what I'm going to do is... Uh, scale it down. So I'm going to go to avatar, uh, rig builder, block rig, and I'm just going to disable these attachments because I, I don't really want to see them. Uh, I'm just going to turn these off and then I'm going to rescale this model. So rescale it down and I think that's a good size. Now I'm just going to get rid of this guy and I'm going to rename this to handle. And then I'm going to make sure that can collide is unchecked and I'm going to add a tool to the workspace and I'm going to get my handle and drag it inside of the tool. And then I'm going to rename this handle to this tool, sorry, to gun. And then what I'm going to do is um, go to plugins and I'll leave a link to this plugin in the description. But what, we, what you're going to do is just go to plugins. Uh, first of all, you got to install the plugin go to the link in the description and hit install and then Plugins, Tool Grip, Editor, and select your gun, and then press Tool Grip, and then you can position it wherever you want. If you want to rotate it, you can just press Z, and you can rotate it. But for now, I want to just move it. I think that's... Okay, I think that this is perfect. Okay, so that's good. What I'm going to do now is uh, get out of the plugin so just click it again and it should be gone now just drag this inside of the starter pack and you should be able to play the game and you should be able to hold the gun correctly and as you can see i am holding the gun correctly it's a bit too big though but i'm not really going to worry about that right now so what i'm going to do is make a bullet model i'm just going to use a sphere and i'm just going to resize it to be the size of a bullet something like that and I'm going to make it neon maybe neon and maybe give it a nice um, orange color a nice bright orange and I think that's pretty good now I'm going to make sure that it's anchored and then go to can collide and make sure that it's unchecked and now what we're gonna do is rename it to bullet and I'm also going to make sure that it's big enough so I'm just going to spawn in this guy and yeah, I think that's that's the correct size. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is add a local script to the gun. And I'm going to call it gun client. So gun client. And what I'm going to do in the gun client script is get players. So local players equals game can get service players. And then we need replicated storage. Replicated storage equals game can get service replicated storage. And then uh local player we need the player local player not players player is equal to players dot local player and local mouse is equal to player con get mouse now what i'm gonna do is get the tool the gun itself so local gun is equal to script dot parent and gun dot activated con connect function and in this function what we're gonna what we're gonna do is check if mouse dot target is not equal to nil then and else okay so after doing this what i'm going to do is add a remote event inside of the of a uh, replicated storage and it's going to be called shoot and i'm just going to do um replicated storage dot shoot con fire server and that's going to take mouse dot hit i'm going to send the position of the mouse so mouse dot hit dot position comma and false because there is nothing and because we are so in this case, we're just shooting the sky, basically. So we're not really aiming at anything. So we're just going to send false. Uh, this will make more sense later. Just wait. 
And I'm going to copy that, paste it here. But this time, this should be true. Because this time, we're actually hitting something. Now, what I'm going to do is add a script to server script service. And I'm going to call it gun uh, server. Now, what I'm going to do in here is, uh, again, players replicate storage. So, local players. Local players equals game calling get service players. Local replicated storage equals game calling get service replicated storage. And uh, we're also going to get tween service. Tween service is equal to game calling get service tween service. And um, local gun range. We want the range of our gun to be something like 500 studs. This is in studs, by the way. So in studs not really important to add this but just a good reminder okay so what we're gonna do now is replicate the storage dot uh shoot dot on server event clock connect function and that's going to take the player and the mouse position and whether or not there is a target so target okay so you remember how we fired the remote well we are listening to it from the server now and in here what we're gonna do is get the gun so local gun is equal to player dot character confines first child of class model. Uh, actually, sorry, this should be tool. So now we are one hundred percent sure that it's our gun. Now local damage. So local damage is equal to gun dot damage dot value. And now we will add a. Uh, so just go here and add a. Um, uh, int value to the gun so int value and just call it uh damage and just make it something like uh 25 and what i'm gonna do next is check if the gun is there so if gun is equal, equal to nil then return end uh actually after return end then we should put the damage and now we need to get the direction so local direction is equal to mouse position I forgot to add an n mouse position uh minus gun dot handle dot position that's just going to give us a direction and we're going to multiply that by the range so local, so gun range and then local ray cast params or maybe array params equals raycast params dot new and then what we're gonna do is ray params dot so ray params dot filter wait ray params dot filter filter descend instances is equal to and player dot character and then what we need to do is raycast params dot wait ray params sorry dot filter type is equal to enum dot raycast filter type dot blacklist okay so now we are uh this these are just the parameters of our raycast so what we're doing is just creating a uh, new so basically just raycast settings we are setting it so that it doesn't count the player's character so that you can shoot yourself and params dot filter type we're basically just blacklisting this so this should not count and now what we need to do is uh shoot the ray so local result so the result of the ray is equal to and workspace call and ray cast and that's of course going to take the gun dot handle dot position that's the origin position and then uh, the direction and then the ray params now what we need to do is chat is get a create a bullet so local bullet is equal to and i forgot to drag the bullet inside of replicated storage just do that and then local bullet is equal to and workspace colon rake oh oh yeah i'm sorry uh replicated storage dot bullet colon clone uh bullet dot position dot c frame sorry dot c frame is equal to gun dot handle dot c frame and uh bullet dot parent is equal to workspace of course and then what we need to do is uh get how long the bullet is going to take to reach its destination if we just set this to a constant uh, number then what's going to happen is when you shoot it uh in the sky it's just going to take 0 0.5 or whatever your number is to reach that destination which is way too slow so we want uh, way too fast sorry so you're not even going to be able to see your bullet so what i'm going to do is local uh, is calculate that duration so local bullet duration 
equals uh equals uh 0 0.3 that's the constant that you can change multiplied by and uh mouse position mouse position actually we can just put in direction direction and what i'm gonna do is actually no yes uh direct okay so direction i'm going to divide that by the gun range because we are multiplying it by the gun range so basically the opposite and then we're gonna get dot magnitude then we will get this whole thing and divide it by 50. now what i'm gonna do is tween service colon create and um bullet so we're gonna tween the bullet comma tween info dot new uh bullet duration comma and c frame is equal to c frame dot new and that's going to take the mouse position on play and now what we're gonna do is check if uh the target is is uh, uh is not equal to to something so if not target then what we're gonna do is just uh task dot delay we're gonna make this the bullet duration comma function and what I'm going to do in here is just destroy the bullet. And then else, what I'm going to do is task.delay just one second on a function. I'll, I'll explain this later. Uh, bullet, colon, destroy. Okay, so um, what is this? So um, we are checking if we are hitting something. Then what we're going to do is, uh, so task.delay is the same thing as doing this. So if I do this, that's dot wait bullet duration and uh, bullet colon destroy. Uh, what's gonna happen is uh, this will we're gonna, we're gonna wait the bullet duration, then do whatever is after this code, and we don't want that to happen. So that's why we are using that's dot delay. So this whatever is after this will run immediately, but uh, it will wait one second to destroy the bullet after one second so what i'm gonna do now is check if the result is not equal to is equal equal to nil then return and uh but if it's not equal to nil then local humanoid local humanoid is equal to player dot player dot character not players by the way dot uh humanoid or we're gonna find first child humanoid actually no what am i doing that's kind of dumb uh this should be the result of parent and that's what's going to check if it's an actual humanoid a result dot parent actually result dot instance sorry dot instance dot parent can't find first child humanoid so if humanoid is equal, equal to nil then return and but if it's not equal to nil then what we're going to do is just test dot wait bullet duration then what we're going to do is uh, humanoid, so humanoid dot uh, can't take damage or maybe dot health uh, minus equal uh, what is it damage? Okay, so if you play the game now, I think this should work. I should be able to shoot bullets from the gun. So I'm just going to shoot, and as you can see, I can in fact shoot a bullet. And now what I want to try is. Uh, spawning in an NPC, so plugins or avatar. Uh, I'm just going to spawn in an NPC or maybe multiple NPCs, and I'm just going to try to shoot them. And we're gonna see how this looks. So uh, I'm going to shoot this guy. Works. Uh, works. Uh, okay, so everything works. Now I'm going to be showing you how to add headshots. So we're going to check if the, okay, so if uh, result.instance.parent.name, actually if result.instance.name is equal or equal to head, then I am not going to take damage, uh, damage and else do the same thing. So if we are hitting the head, then what we're going to do is multiply the damage by um, a local headshot, headshot um, multiplier or headshot uh, bon bonus. 
uh, is equal to maybe just headshot multiplier. I'm kind of bad at naming variables. Multiply. Okay, so multiplier. And we're going to set that by 2. So if it's a critical hit, then we're going to multiply this by 2. If it's not, then just damage. And now I'm going to play the game. And if I hit this guy in the head, as you can see, it takes half of his health. But if I do this, and it does not take half of its HP. Now what I'm going to do is show you how to... Uh, add a cooldown because if i join the game right now and start shooting what's gonna happen is i can just shoot infinitely and just destroy all of these uh npcs easily and we don't want that to happen so what i'm gonna do is just make a server-sided cooldown not on the client so what i'm gonna do is local debounce table is equal to an empty table and players not player added con connect function Oh, what did I just do? Uh, no, okay, never mind. We're just gonna continue. What did I just do again? I don't. I, I do not know what's happening. Okay, uh, player. That's gonna take the player. And now, uh, players. The player moving. Colon connect. Connect function. And that's also going to take the player. Okay, so. What we're gonna do is if not debounce table square brackets player then uh debounce table square brackets player uh is equal to false okay same thing here but this time if debounce player table square brackets player then debounce table square brackets player is equal to nil so what we're doing here is whenever a player joins the game um we are adding the player to the table and setting him to false. If he is leaving, then we are removing him from the table. Now what we're going to do in here is check if... So if... Mm, debounce table square brackets... If, if not debounce table square brackets player, then... Uh, debounce table square brackets player equals true. And then we're just going to do all of this. And then we're gonna add a debounce, a local local debounce. So I want it to be zero, maybe one second. And what I'm gonna do in here is task wait, uh, debounce, and then debounce table square brackets player equals false. But before we do this, we need to check if a uh, debounce table square brackets player then, so that if he shoots and leaves the game, uh, it's not going to error. Okay, so if you play the game now, I shouldn't be able to spam. As you can see, I'm literally spamming the gun right now, and I can't do anything, which is weird. Uh, okay, so let's see. So if debounce table square brackets player, then... Okay, that's weird. I'm just going to do this. And see if this is going to work. So if I shoot... I can't shoot anymore. Okay, so I'm going to try to fix this, and I'll be back. Okay, so I think I know why this is happening. Uh, what I'm going to do is just get rid of this. And what we're going to do is do it in here. And make it a task.delay. So, task.delay, uh, debounce on my function... And we're just going to do this. So if what we're gonna do is if not debounce, actually if debounce table square brackets player, then so if he is still in there, we're gonna do that. Okay, good. Now if we play the game, I think this should hopefully work. And as you can see, I should be able to shoot after one second, and I can't really spam it anymore. So that's a good thing. And I, won't, I don't want this to be that long, so I'm just going to change it to 0 0.4. I think this is way better, so let's see. Yeah, that's, that's a lot better, and it feels a lot better too. Okay, so I think that's going to be it for this tutorial. This helped. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!